Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I just wanted to come on here and share something that I feel very strongly on my heart to share with everyone. I've seen several people leave comments on on my videos and even in other people's videos sharing how they want prayers because their thoughts are being attacked heavily by the enemy. Just all of a sudden, thoughts will come into to minds, uh, you know, things that you normally would not contemplate on or think about. And I just wanted to share with all of you a testimony that I myself am going through this as well. My thoughts are constantly bombarding me and I'm being attacked with thoughts, things that I, I don't want to keep thinking about and, you know, just constant like arguments in my mind, you know, to do with family and extended family and so on and so forth, friends. And we all can relate and understand that these circumstances are happening. We are met with mockery and being made fun of because we are trying to warn and share with our loved ones and our, our friends the, the fact of how close we are to the imminent rapture of, you know, the taking away of the bride and children and so forth. And it's really, it's a, it's a big struggle to see family come back at us and treat us the way that they do. And so I just wanted to come on and give encouragement. And at the same time, while preaching this to all of you, I'm doing my, my best to practice what I'm preaching and saying as well, because we're all struggling with this. I'd like to read a, a scripture to you. It's Isaiah 26, verse 3. And it says, You will keep in perfect peace the steadfast of mind, because he trusts in you. And I take that as the Lord is going to give us his peace and give us a sound mind because no matter what the enemy is throwing at us, no matter what our families and friends and whatever circumstances we are in comes at us, we trust in the Lord. So he is going to get us through it and he is going to give us his peace. And when we're not feeling that, then that's the time that we do need to turn to him and press in. We have here in Philippians 4, verse 7, it says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So that also tells me that the Lord is always going to be there to give us that peace. He's going to guard our hearts and our minds when we are in him when we take everything to him i've i've seen people ask well what can i do i'm struggling with this how can i get away from this i find a lot of times and i should do it way more often than i usually do is i listen to praise music i look for the scriptures when i know that i'm having these issues or problems and I say these words out loud and I declare them I speak his word out loud and I tell the enemy and remind him that you know you lose in the end so there and sometimes you know he'll back off but of course he likes to come back again and that's just the way it is we are in those times the Lord tells us in his word that these are going to be some of the toughest times that his children are going to go through, especially those who are following him and, you know, are walking in obedience and repenting anytime sin happens to come into our situations. And I just know that the Lord wants us to know that he's there. He is with us through it all. And sometimes you may feel like he's distant and he's far away, but that is absolutely not true. 
we we are shown and told that we're going to go through trials and testings. Circumstances are going to um, happen. And another scripture I'd like to read out to to share and prove this as well is in First Peter, chapter four, and this is verses twelve through nineteen. Beloved. Do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. I'm going to read that again, everyone. Remember this. Don't forget this. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. This is why we are going through these sufferings and afflictions is because the Lord is with us. He rests upon us. And those who are coming against us see that. So we should rejoice in these things. And trust me, I believe it. I get it. It is hard. It is a struggle to not want to return in kind how people are treating us. But this is where we need to stand firm and hold fast to what Jesus is teaching us in his word and how not to respond and to not take what our family and friends and everyone are saying to us personal. It is not them. It is not flesh and blood that we're wrestling against. It is spiritual principalities and powers. The Lord gave us all the tools and equipment that we need to fight these things and to love our, our family and our friends and loved ones who are coming against us and to pray for them. And know that in the long run, when we choose to do that, even being horrifically treated the way that we are, it is going to glorify our Lord, but it's also going to show those that are doing this to us that, wow, look at how they're responding. They want us to respond in ignorance and strife and in hatred and being argumentative. So we have to decide and choose if that's what we're going to do, if we're going to give in to what the enemy wants us to do, or are we going to do what the Lord wants us to do? And it's hard. It is very hard. I agree. I struggle with this too. But I just feel it's very important to come on here and share this with all of you, that the Lord wants us to press into him, turn to him, and sometimes I fall. Sometimes I let what people are saying get to me. It's hurtful. And I'm arguing about it in my head. And sometimes I think things that I don't want to. And then I feel conviction from the Lord for doing that and feeling that way. And so I immediately just confess it to him and say, you know, I'm sorry. Forgive me for thinking that way. And help me, Lord. Help me to not respond that way. Help me to not contemplate on these things. Because he is the only one who can help us. He's the only one that we can turn to, to keep us steadfast and concentrated on the goal in the end. And that is to make it to that finish line, whether we're crawling, whether we're sprinting, whether we're hopping along, <laughs> whichever way we end up finishing this race. But the goal is to finish this race, brothers and sisters. So I just, I hope if you take anything from this, use the word of God, use his words to come against the enemy. Say them in your heart, say them out loud and sing his praises. When you're being met with this strife and these thoughts that are coming in your mind, count it joy and know that you're on the right track. You're doing something 
that the enemy does not like, and so he's attacking, trying to take us down. But every time he tries to take us down, we're going to get right back up. Right, everybody? So let's keep getting back up, and let's keep striving towards the goal, and that is to get to that finish line and to keep all of our focus on our Lord and Savior and take everything to Him. And it's so very important that when you do mess up, please confess your sins, confess them to the Lord, and He's quick to forgive. That is what He wants. He wants a close, one-on-one, -on -one, intimate relationship with each and every one of us. And you will find that in most cases, more than more than not, He is right there. You can feel that peace. I feel that more than anything but I still have some of those struggles. And so that is what I do when I'm going through those struggles, when I'm having my thoughts being bombarded. I turn to the Lord. I turn to Jesus. I read his word. I play music. I sing. I praise him. And I need to do it more. <laughs> I do need to do that more often. So I hope that this blesses all of you. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.